Hi, my name is Dave Davids, and today I'm going to show you guys how to use Caperture to capture stuff in 3D with your iPhone. The basic idea of Caperture is that instead of taking a regular 2D photograph, you wave your camera around a subject and create an interactive 3D visualization of what's in front of you. In this video, we'll show you step by step how to use Caperture. If you've never tried Caperture before, we recommend that you start by capturing something very simple, like the cover of a book or magazine. Once you've got that working, move on to something more interesting, like a stuffed animal or a display item. When you feel more comfortable with the app, try capturing people. But remember that your subject needs to stay still during capture. Finally, if you're feeling ambitious, try capturing something more challenging, like an outdoor scene or a much larger subject. Capturing something with Capture is simple. You'll press a start button, wave the camera around your subject during a mapping phase, press another button, and then wave the camera around again during a capture phase. When this is done, you can instantly view your capture by tapping the save button. You can even email the capture as an attachment to other people. And if they have Caperture, then they can instantly view the attachment on their device. Here we'll show you step by step how to capture something with Caperture. To start, first tap the Capture tab at the bottom right hand of the screen. This will take you to a screen that displays what your camera sees. To begin mapping, touch the Start button and slowly begin moving your camera back and forth and side to side keeping it pointed at your subject. As you do this, you should start to see red dots appear on your screen. Here the software is trying to analyze the shape of your subject. We want these red dots to look like they're sticking to 3D objects seen by your camera. Once we've started to lock onto your subject, these dots will turn blue. Once they're blue, you should try to make at least one sweep across the front of your subject with the camera, making sure that the dots stay blue. When you've done this, press the Capture button to start recording your capture. A sphere should appear around some of the blue points on your screen. Use the touch screen to move this sphere until it is around your subject. When this is done, make a final sweep in front of your subject. As you do this, you should see a trail of white dots tracing out the path of your camera around the sphere. When you're done, just press the Save button and your capture will be instantly ready to view. Sometimes you may find that Caperture locked onto the wrong subject. In this case, you can actually refocus the capture. Here we tried to capture a shiny statue, but focused instead on a book next to the statue. First tap the view screen to bring up the focus switch and flip it on. Next, touch the screen to move a small crosshair to your intended subject. Then slide with two fingers to change the depth of focus until it is on your subject. Then just flip the focus switch off and your capture should be refocused on the right subject. Please email us if you have any questions or comments about Capture. And if you like the app, consider giving us a good review in the App Store. If we get enough users, then we may be able to add additional features like a viewer for Facebook. Thanks for downloading Capture. We hope you like the app and that it gives you an exciting new way to capture your world.